Well, hello and good day. Hope that this video is finding you in good health and good spirits. I'm having a pretty good day. Today's question for the cards. I want to take a look at the Senate race for the state of Ohio, where we see incumbent Sherrod Brown defending his seat against a Republican challenger Bernie Moreno. Now, like we have been doing so far, we're going to just do a basic five card draw. The candidates are ranked in alphabetical order by surname. And so that will be how it's presented. And just a reminder, we're still, you know, a ways out from the election. And this reading is reflecting the energy that is available at the time of the draw. If there is anything significant that emerges in the news cycle between now and the election, we'll probably be pulling the cards again to take a look at that. Today, we're going to start with a reading for Sherrod Brown. He's an American politician who is the senior United States Senator from Ohio. It's a seat that he's held since 2007, although he has a long political career in the state of Ohio. He was the first elected to public office in 1975. So it's been around, been around a few times. And of course, we're using the One World Tarot for this particular reading. Now, the first card that we have coming up for Sherrod Brown, this is the King of Cups. Now, this is a card that marks the presence of a wise, mature man is somebody who is noted for their emotional intelligence, their EQ, if you will. And they are very empathetic. People connect with them on an emotional level. This is a really good characteristic for a politician to have. However, this isn't going to be an easy race. Next card up we have is the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords indicates, you know, nightmares and anxiety and anguish and a great deal of worry. Well, he's got plenty to be worried about. Ohio is one of those states that has gone very Republican. Their last senator they elected in the, the last cycle was J.D. Vance. And there is a lot of Republican stronghold within the state. The central energy in this reading, we have the Hermit card. And this is a card that's about solitude and wisdom. It's about, you know, self-examination, but it is really like determining your values and finding out what your values are and making sure that you are in alignment with those values. And it really is, it can be sometimes a lonely position, but it is because you are really finding what is your North Star and following it from there. Now in the obstacles, well, we have one hell of an obstacle. This is the Ten of Swords. This, of course, is a card that is about betrayal and pain and drama and endings like, you know, kaput, finito. Remember, this is the obstacle of the reading, not the final outcome. And, you know, this is going to be a tough race. And not only that, it's a crucial race. The Democrats are really have a uphill battle to keep control over the Senate this election. There are 33 Senate seats that are up for re-election, and a lot of them are in very strong uh, Republican stronghold. So we're not expecting the Republicans to really have to fight for it. But the different story on the Democrats, a lot of their seats that have come up are in areas that uh, either swing towards the Republican Party, like we have here in Ohio, or it's in areas that are just like very solidly Republican. So it's going to be a tough, tough campaign. And I have no doubt that the Ten of Swords is up here as an obstacle. Now, final outcome in this reading, we have the Devil. And this is a card that, of course, is about really toxic energy. You know, it can be about control and temptation. It can be about, I mean, strong negativity and strong deviance. So just kind of looking at this reading, 
I mean, that king of cups for a politician is a great opener. And that whole idea of the hermit being, you know, you find out what your North Star is and you make your determination that you're going to follow on there. This is a pretty good energy for the incumbent Sherrod Brown. So let's switch out the decks right now and take a run at the reading for Bernie Moreno. Now he is a Colombian American businessman. He was, he was born in Colombia and emigrated to the United States with his parents when he was a child. He's interested in politics. I don't believe he's ever held office. He's the Republican nominee for the 2024 Senate seat in Ohio and challenging the incumbent Sherrod Bram. Bit of a false flag there when I said he's a Republican. He's not. He's full on mega. Like mega mega. That's what this guy is. He started off at one point in time, but of course, they their craven nature comes out as things go on. And this is certainly the case with him. I mean, he was against Trump and he did thought Trump was a disgrace and he was, you know, not suitable for the office. But now he's very proud of his Trumpian endorsement. So like I said, Mega Mega, he's against against immigrants, although he's one. He's against LGBTQ and he's against abortion reproductive rights and you know the whole the whole satchel the whole satchel in this reading we're gonna open up with the queen of cups now the queen of cups this is compassionate supreme supremely comforting energy very nurturing very kind of public facing niceness if you will and this is crossed by the two of pentacles two of pentacles Things are changing. There is change in the air, which could be very positive news for somebody who is the challenger. There's a lot of adaptation. There's a lot of juggling that's going to have to be made. And I'll tell you right now, Republican candidates have one hand tied behind the back because they're trying to juggle their positions in order to keep up with the latest iterations from Donald Trump because there is no Republican platform. There isn't. Just isn't. It's all what the art leader wants. And that is really hard to campaign on. And in the central energy for this reading, we have the Ten of Cups in a reversed position. Ten of Cups, this is, you know, for political tarot, Ten of Cups is the voter's card, right? It's the body politic. When it's in a reversed position like we have here today, we're looking at disharmony and dysfunction. So people, there's there's not happiness in Ohio. There is a lot of things that have gone on there. They've suffered from, you know, kind of Rust Belt and agricultural issues and that sort of stuff. And I think the Republicans are hoping to, to build on whatever gains that they have made, but there, it's not necessarily trickling down to the man in the street level. Now, the obstacle that we have to deal with in this reading is the death card. And the death card, of course, is about change and transformations. It's also about kind of new beginnings on things being renewed. And there's an inevitability about this card that comes with it, like it's just going to happen. These changes are coming and you can't stop them. And in the final card for the reading, we have the Knight of Wands, and he's in a reverse position. Knight of Wands, when he's reversed, very passionate, very energetic, can really entertain a crowd and that sort of stuff. But he's impulsive, and he's reckless, and he's arrogant. And that comes across. So, overall, what is my take on this reading? First of all, I think this battleground state is going to live up to its name. It is going to be one tough campaign. I, you know, I see the incumbent who's kind of on a limb and pulling back because he has to really focus on what is his values and being careful not to, to compromise them. That's that devil card, right? And Bernie Moreno coming in behind him, I don't think has really good energy coming up. I don't think that the voters are connecting with him. Of course, he's up against King Cups. Well, that's going to be 
difficult. Although he opens with the Queen of Cups, the Queens are more inward facing energy as opposed to what's directed outwards. And that Knight of Wands being warned, man, it the warning is you have got to work on not being reckless, not coming across as being arrogant and not coming across as being you know, a smart ass know it all. And that is going to be Bernie Moreno's challenge in this. And so overall, that's what it looks like with today's energy. As I've said, it could change. And if we get something significant, I'll look at it again. And that's our reading for today. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button. That tells me that you're interested in more content along the line. If you enjoy this community, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button. It will let you know when I drop another video. Usually right now it's on a every second day schedule. However, the world keeps turning on its axis, even though we're having an election. So there will be days when I release more than one video just to keep up with the news cycle. And finally, feel free to use that comment section. I love hearing from you guys and I love your topic suggestions. If there's a question that you would like me to put to the cards or there's a particular election race that you're interested in, by all means, let me know in the comment section and I'll do my very best to put it to the cards. So let me know what's on your mind and I will talk to you later. Bye bye for now.